Hi folks, thought we would uh, do a little bit of uh, updates, uh, not a full podcast, but uh, some updates on things other than WWE and get those out to you since we didn't have a full podcast this weekend. Um, this is the Wrestling Breakdown Podcast on the Ed Boston Podcast Network. Uh, we're going to look at NXT first, uh, and uh, the question is, have uh, Johnny and Tommaso... Uh, signed with WWE yet, uh, the answer was relatively simple. No, they're not signed to deals, uh, but there's a feeling that they will be signed eventually. Uh, but uh, the WWE is in no hurry as the current situation works for all sides. The two are available when WWE needs them, but they're still able to work indies and make money there. So. Uh, that's where that situation is at the moment. Uh, there was a scary moment at a WWE live event recently. Um, uh, it was in Jacksonville, Florida, and uh, Wrestling Inc. correspondent David or Travis Akers noted that during a six-man tag match between Dawson Dash and Riddick Moss uh, versus Sami Zayn, Enzo, and Cass, uh, Riddick uh, was injured during a six-man suplex, uh, Riddick immediately went unconscious, and uh, the ref gave the X, stopping the match. Uh, it was a very scary moment as he didn't respond for uh, over a minute. Uh, paramedics arrived and assisted him to the back uh, after he regained his consciousness. Uh, Akers asked Cass about Riddick after the show, who said Riddick hit hard and it was bad. Uh, again, he was helped to the back by uh, medical personnel and uh, his fellow wrestlers. Uh, let's look at some news in TNA. Uh, a new TNA knockout, Raquel, who is uh, Gabby Castrovinci, uh, former t WWE Tough Enough competitor. She appeared on last week... Uh, on an episode of TMZ on FS1 and claimed to have been assaulted during a match at a WXW event in Miami the previous weekend. I really got assaulted. I didn't expect it, Raquel said, although I was warned that it was going to happen, but I never thought it would be at that level. Uh, Raquel noted that she cracked her tooth and had to get a root canal and a crown on her tooth. She also had a little hairline fracture on her jaw and multiple bruises. Raquel noted that she does not intend to file charges out of respect for her coach and that the person who had warned her does not want to come forward. She believes that the incident happened because she became very successful in wrestling and got a huge contract with Impact Wrestling. Raquel also stated on Twitter that she would not let the ordeal affect her and that she was already back training. She has posted the following on her Instagram writing, I'm fearless, I don't complain, even when horrible things happen to me, I go on. Uh, in more news, Kurt Angle set to wrestle post-TNA match against Rey Mysterio uh, with MMA and boxing on the show. Kurt Angle may have finished up his pro wrestling dates with TNA, but he's not retiring, as he said many times. As it turns out, he'll be in the ring rather soon and against an old foe in Rey Mysterio. A promotion called UR Fight is putting on a pro wrestling, boxing, grappling, MMA card that features several former WWE names. Kim Shamrock is advertised to take on Dan Severn in an MMA fight, while Michael uh, Bisping and Shale Sonnen are set to grapple. Roy Jones Jr. will also box on the show against a fan. The show takes place March 20th in the Celebrity Theater in Phoenix, Arizona. The show will be broadcast on IPPV. Again, we're not doing show updates today. We're just uh, giving you some news updates on uh, federations outside of the WWE. Um, news on Rey Mysterio with Lucha Libre AAA. Uh, 
there seems to be uh, big cash flow problems and pay issues with many of the AAA luchadors in Mexico. Uh, the highest profile talent, of course, being Rey Mysterio. Mysterio is apparently done with AAA due to the late payment and corporate disorganization. They, he last appeared for the promotion last December. He isn't the only talent to be frustrated with the company as there is a lot of disenchantment in AAA right now and several talent have complained about late pay. Many luchadors and office staff have contacted CMLL and Elite about jumping and some have reached out to WWE intermediaries. Chris Master also recently took to Twitter and posted a message about not receiving a cent of help from AAA after suffering an injury while wrestling for them, but deleted the tweet. According to sources, the only way Mysterio would return to AAA is if they paid up and offered him guaranteed creative control. In Ring of Honor news, uh, ROH ring crew worker, former WWE referee sent home after making advances at female talent. Not a good thing. Ring of Honor employee Kevin Keenan, who did some refereeing and worked the ring crew, was fired this past weekend after allegedly making advances at a female res member of the roster. Keenan previously worked for WWE as a referee but was released in 2009. The night before the TV tapings in Nashville, some of the wrestlers, crew, and staff went out for food and drinks. And this is when Keenan made the alleged advances, which apparently included spanking her rear end, and it was clear to people that they, there, it was clear to people there that the unnamed female roster member was uncomfortable. People reportedly told Keenan that his behavior was unacceptable, and he left the establishment they were at with a few other people. ROH officials were told later that night, and Booker Hunter Johnston, who is delirious, uh, reprimanded Keenan the next day in front of the ring crew officials and roster members. Johnson reportedly told Keenan that his actions were not acceptable in the ROH locker room and wouldn't be accepted in any other locker room. Johnson then told Keenan to gather his belongings, leave, and not come back. The wrestling Observer Newsletter was told that Keenan will no longer be used by Ring of Honor. Jim Ross is in the news, and he's got a new project in the works. Uh, Flips Media announced that WWE Hall of Famer Jim Ross is working as a celebrity spokesperson, executive advisor, and investor for their new Fight TV. They issued the following statement from Flips Media that they launch Fight TV with Jim Ross's spokesperson. Uh, this was dated February 9th in San Mateo, California. Flips Media, a popular mobile app for entertainment enthusiasts to easily discover and project digital content onto a TV using only a smartphone, launches a new product, Fight TV. Fight is a one-stop shop for viewing all sports within the fighting discipline globally, including MMA, professional wrestling, boxing, and traditional martial arts. The global popularity of fighting sports was a catalyst to our decision to develop this new product, said Costa Jordanov, co-founder and CEO of Flips Media. Flips has been downloaded by more than 15 million people. And many of them gravitate toward our sports content. With over 300 million fighting sports fans and 150 million practitioners worldwide, Fight plans to leverage the global popularity of the sports by providing seamless TV access to all related content. Fight is launching free and pay-per-view programming, including live events, shows, movies, and documentaries in collaboration with over 20 organizations such as TNA Wrestling, Tough Enough, MMA, Ring of Honor Wrestling, Legacy Fighting Championships, WWN Live, World Arm Wrestling Championships, 
USA Sumo, and Extreme Power TV. Fight partnered with Jim Ross as the brand's celebrity spokesperson, executive advisor, and investor. Ross is widely known as the voice of the WWE, with over 40 years of experience in the professional wrestling, boxing, and mixed martial arts world, the 2007 WWE Hall of Famer is one of the most prolific wrestling announcers and renowned wrestling executives at Mid-South Wrestling, Turner Broadcasting's World Championship Wrestling, and more recently for over 20 years at WWE. The two-time New York Times best-selling author also hosts a wildly popular podcast, weekly podcast, The Ross Report, with over 750,000 weekly listeners on Podcast One and is a mainstay in the Twitter universe with 1.4 million followers. As WWE's Executive Vice President of Talent, Ross was instrumental in attracting and developing such world-renowned personalities as The Rock, Stone Cold, Steve Austin, John Cena, Kurt Angle, and Brock Lesnar. Getting involved with Fight is an opportunity I couldn't pass up. It is the figure or future of televised sport, fighting sports, said Jim Ross, executive advisor at Fight TV. There is no easier way to stream wrestling, MMA, and other fighting sports content, including commentaries on those sports by me. To learn more about Fight, go to fight.tv, or to download the app, log on to Google Play or iTunes and... Put you in fight, F I T E, and uh, a little more about fight. Fight TV is a product of Flips Media, is a free mobile app that is a one stop shop for viewing all sports within the fighting discipline globally, including MMA, professional wrestling, boxing, and traditional martial arts. With only access to smart TV and a smartphone, with a Fight app, viewers can watch live events, on-demand programming, interviews, and fighting sports-related movies and documentaries on the big TV screen. Melissa and I will be back Saturday evening at 5 o'clock Eastern for... Our next um, next edition of the Wrestling Breakdown podcast. Um, we look forward to getting back uh, on a regular schedule. We've got things mapped out from now until just up to and including WrestleMania. So uh, we got a lot of good stuff in the works and in the plans. And thank you for being here with me on this short news update. Uh, This is Ed from the Wrestling Breakdown Podcast. And I bid you to go out and do the right thing. God bless.